what the three words that come in mind when I say the word Islam? Three words? Yeah. Trouble. 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 Um... Ooh, uh... War? War. War. Terrorism. Bombings. Middle East. Um... Mosque. Uh, Quran. Burqa. And... Uh, one of the biggest religions in the world. Um... Prophet Muhammad. Quran. Uh, I imagine I imagine a Muslim woman covered with a black black clothes and a man with a beard praying on a, on the ground. What are the three things that come in mind when I say the word Islam? Okay, before I was a Muslim, the first thing what came to my mind was number one, terrorists. Um, the second thing will come to my mind is oppression. Because obviously when I used to see women in hijab and whatnot, I used to think this is madness, this is crazy, oppression. The third thing um, will come to my mind before Islam is a racist religion. Um, after becoming a Muslim and looking into Islam, obviously before I took my shahada, I looked into the things that I thought that were part of the religion, i.e. racism or the religion is an Arab religion or Asian religion. But after looking into the religion and hearing the sermon of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said there's no difference between a black man and a white man, the only difference with their deed, that showed me that the religion of Islam is not like that. But becoming a Muslim, I've seen amongst, the, amongst many of the Muslims they still have this ignorance in regards to racism and we do have a lot of Muslims who are racist. But what I would like to say on the end note is that the Muslim, um, Islam is perfect but the Muslims are not. And the most important thing to me is that Islam doesn't teach racism because if Islam taught racism, I wouldn't be a Muslim. Did anyone give you doubt? Yeah, before I became Muslim, a lot of people used to give me doubt and to be honest with you, I never used to listen. And there were a particular, a few of my friends who became a Muslim used to tell me about Allah on the last day. But to be honest, I never really heard it. But what made me look into Islam was the way I saw these individuals change. Not the kalam, not the things they used to say, but their actions. Praying, no more um, committing zina, no more selling drugs, no more doing crime. These are the things what penetrated my mind. I said, you know what, something's going on here. This, 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 something, this ain't right. How can someone change like this? So that's what made me look into Islam, not the not the kalam, the actions. So that's that's the da'wah that affected me, to be honest with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Today I went out to see what people thought about Islam. So I asked them a question: What three words came to mind when they heard the word Islam? As you can see, some were negative and some were positive. At this current time, the importance of da'wah is our all-time high. For those that have a negative image, we need to change that to what Islam truly is. So wherever you are, whether it's at work, at home, or on the streets, or in anywhere in the world, make sure you give da'wah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It had to have come into existence. Yeah. Yeah. And, someone, and, and a conscious being would have had to put it into existence. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not a stupid theory, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely possible.